Today I'm going to show you how to use the Dash Dynamics number plate kit for Irish registration plates using Metro 60mm digits or Metro 50mm digits. The kit comes as a baseboard and either with a set of 60mm or 50mm as standard. If you wish to have both, we do the other part as an upgrade kit. The difference being the size of the hole on the inside. This can be used either for 4D digits or for 3D digits. And here you can see the difference between 50 and 60 millimeters. They're just larger in size. And these can be combined with our, our 4D. So you can combine 3D and 4D together to produce an absolutely luxurious product if you really wish to. So now we're going to make up just a random plate. This is for uh, 212D11879. Our number plate, we've already put an Irish gel badge on the end of it, and that's what we class as a Euro plate. The Euro plate, if we're fitting a Euro badge on the end, you use the bottom line here to use that part as for centralizing or if it's not got the badge on you use the top line that's very important that you get them the right way around so we'll just pop our plate into the hole now i'm going to start selecting the correct spaces to produce this plate so you've got full size digits ones and hyphens so in this case we've got two one Two hyphen D, so a full size digit, another hyphen, two ones, and then three full size digits. And that's Metro 50. There we go. Having got them into there now. All we do is we centralise them. The ruler on the bottom has been made to make it very easy for you and you're basically following the colour codings and numbers. So in this case, you're falling within the 19 and by eye you can get that pretty much accurate. So now we've got everything in the correct place. We've already taken the top surface protective film off this one and now to place this digit, we're going to remove the bottom face so you can expose the adhesive so away it comes, just like that, making certain that those are still in the centre and well pushed together. We now hold there and pop our first digit into place, just like that. Having placed the first digit, just to let you know, you'll have a few extras over. That's because obviously number plates do vary in the configuration and those enable you to make up pretty much any plate that you're going to see there. So. A useful little trick now is we've put our first digit into here, if we just push very gently on that end there and now select the last digit. So that's our last digit in there. And by placing that into place, it means that all these digits here within here are now all nicely locked together. And we can just pick these at random now. Doesn't matter what order you put them in as long as it's correct for the registration of the vehicle. So I'm gonna put all the ones in first. Nice and simple. Oops, missed. Try again. And then put our two in. Hyphen. D. Hyphen. And eight. And seven. Now we've completed our plate, we can now remove the little spacers, pull them away very carefully. They are designed with two and a half millimeter sides to give you five meters, millimeter spacings between your digits. Because they are very thin on the sides, it's important that you look after these. They can break, but spares are available at a, at a cost. We'll just move all those away like that. And then a little hole at the end, just put your finger in it. And there we have our plate. Dash Dynamics, we are trade suppliers of digits and jig systems 
only to the trade. We do not manufacture number plates ourselves. So it's important that if you want a number plate, go to a registered DVLA or if you're in Ireland, an Irish reg registered number plate supplier. This is a trade only piece of kit, not for the general public. So you have to be properly authorized to, ma to manufacture number plates first.